Hi guys, Mark from Burton Bibles here, back with another in out series of the A to Z of Bibles. And we've got to the latter stages of uh, this series, and today we're going to look at the letter V, and I thought that it would be good for us to think about for a second the variety, the variety of Bibles that we have at our disposal today. Thankfully, um, thank the Lord we live in a day today where we've got so many different choices and so many different varieties of God's word. And uh, we are blessed and we're privileged to live in a time such as that. <clears throat> now, I've taken a couple of other videos that I'll weave into this video um, just at different places in my in my house, I guess, really, where I've got some Bibles just to give you a, a, a feel for the variety that we're talking about. But I mean, just in front of us here on the table, we've got um, a variety of translations, um, for example. That's one way in which we can think about uh, variety. For example, we have, um, well, here we have um, a, the King James uh, Bible, um, and here's my wide margin cameo. Um, here we have the two version Bible. This is a brand new one, um, fresh in today. This is the two version Bible uh, from Crimmond House. And this, of course, is the authorised with the revised version in the margin as well. So we've got Bibles like that. Um, what about the ESV? This is a translation that's been uh, gathering um, in popularity over the last sort of 18, 19 years. Here is the reader's, uh, reader's version, which is basically a very simple and plain text Bible, single column um, Bible, reads very much like a, uh, a, a in the novel style, you know, laid out like that. Um, and that's another type of variety as well, the, the different layouts that we can get for the scriptures these days. Here's a Good News Bible, um, one with an elastic uh, closure. And we've got a really nice, ditty, compact uh, Bible there in the Good News translation. So, And this would be a low-cost Bible as well. So we've got variety in terms of cost as well. Low Bibles from just a few pounds all the way up to premium Bibles at uh, you know going on for £200. Here's another ESV from Cambridge. This is their ESV Pit Minion. So we've got small Bibles, slim Bibles, compact Bibles, paragraph formats, uh, chapter and verse formats, difference in translations, difference in costs. Here's the uh, really nice, cool size Derby translation that I've just been uh, getting hold of. Just awesome. Um, tr awesome translation and also a beautiful, beautiful compact Bible. Um, and, uh, and there we have a, an example of variety as well. We've got different uh, types of gilding and this is an example of art uh, gilding. And now we're just going to swing over and take a look at what's on the shelf over so here. Come over to this section in my uh, office um, where I have a few Bibles stored. We've got, we've now got things like study Bibles. So for example, we have um, the King James study Bible here from uh, Thomas Nelson Publishers. Do excuse me while I work one-handed, um, which is just a fantastic study Bible. Uh, we have this study Bible, the Know the Word version from uh, Thomas Nelson Publishers again. If we go to the back, we've got uh, an example there, probably the finest example of a wide, mar wide margin Bible, the Concord Wide Margin Reference Edition. That's in goatskin as well from Cambridge. Um, but then we have, again, another example of a slim, low-cost Bible. That's the KJV Note Takers. And then we have this one, the Good News Bible, a, the Youth Edition. Now, here's another example of variety that we have in the world today. We have uh, different... Um, sort of uh, demographics being provided for. This is a youth edition. Lots of things to engage uh, youthful minds in there. Lots of challenging questions, etc. And of course, we have an abundance nowadays of uh, Bibles for adolescents, you know, study Bibles for young people, for women, for men. Um, and that's something that we're seeing more and more of these days. So we have tremendous variety in that aspect as well. And then again at the back we have there a Westminster uh, Bible from Trinitarian and we have the Cambridge Paragraph uh, Bible from uh, from Cambridge, of course. Um, and then if we move to the front here, we've got a few Trinitarians again. We've got their, this is their uh, per, uh, classic reference Bible, which is basically a personal concord. We have a great text Bible here. This is the West, uh, not the Westminster, the... Um, 
the Windsor, sorry, the Windsor Text Bible, King James Version. Just a beautiful, clear, lovely presentation um, of the King James Version. And then we have a really small, compact uh, Westminster Reference Bible here. So Reference Bibles also come in small uh, packages like this one, the Classic Reference and this one, the uh, Compact Westminster. So we have lots of different varieties. You can get a Bible for any any particular application that you would want it for, in it, whether it be terms of size, print, translation, cost, uh, binding materials. You really can get anything that you need today on the market. So here's just a few of the uh, Cambridge uh, King James Version, at least anyway, Bibles, uh, just demonstrating some of the variety here, for example. We've got all different sorts of sizes, uh, from larger Bibles to tiny pocket Bibles. We've got different uh, si uh, styles of bindings as well. So we've got uh, imitation leathers here, these uh, three grey Bibles. We've got calf split leathers, which are these yellow ones here. And we've also got uh, goat skin as well, these three uh, red ones uh, here, for example. So different uh, styles of bindings, different materials being used there, different levels of uh, quality as well in terms of the premium grade. Um, and we've also got different styles as well. So we've got single column Bibles such as the uh, the Clarion here. We've got old school Bibles like the, the Cameo and the Concord as well we've got different size prints so we've got the pit minion style with paragraph uh, style layout uh, which is a smaller print and then we've got the tiny pocket reference and then we've got a large print edition here as well as the emerald text bible so we've got text bibles and reference bibles uh, as well so again just an example of the variety and here's another one uh, this is the uh, king james version transetto from cambridge and this one actually opens up like a flip book to give you a really readable yet very compact um, Bible, King James Version Bible. So, again, just looking at some of the tremendous variety uh, on display there. So there we have it. Uh, and I hope that's been an interesting and uh, informative, broad look at some of the variety that we have of Bibles uh, today. And I hope that uh, you have... Uh, a Bible for you, uh, an the right application for you. A lot of people are looking, still looking really for that one Bible, you know. People, because of the amount of choice we have, the amount of variety we have, um, people can often get lost and confused and are just continually looking for their sort of favourite Bible. For me, you know, yes, I deal in Bibles all the time, but um, for me, it's this one that I just keep coming back to. I just love it. It's the perfect one for me. It's my Cameo wide margin. I just absolutely love the feel, the look, the presentation of this Bible. It's the one I'm going to be using for a long, long time to come. But I do have uh, perhaps three or four other Bibles that I make good use of. And, and that's nice to have that choice and that variety. So we trust that we'll still be able to get hold of Bibles in all these different shapes and sizes and varieties for many, many, many years to come. So I hope that was interesting and useful for you, and we'll catch up on another video soon. God bless. Bye-bye.